Corey. Corey. Did you do this? No. It's already Tuesday? Damn. <sighs> I guess I had a rough night. A little too rough. I mean, what's, what's going on? Why does this sort of thing happen at your apartment? What are you talking? This is the first time this has ever happened. I don't know if I believe all that. Well, you gotta get it off. Hello, Robbie and Corey. I'd like to play a game. The past few months you've spent criticizing other people's work. Now you must choose. There is a hot sauce in front of you. You must choose to eat it or die. The choice is yours. It doesn't smell that bad. It smells kind of good, actually. Yeah, let's go for it. It smells not be too bad. Yeah, let's go for it. You know? All right. All right. Welcome to Hot Takes. Uh, my name is Robbie. I'm Corey. I guess today we're talking about the new film Spiral from the Book of Saul, but with a little bit of a twist. We've been given an ultimatum to try this Fiji Fire native bongo chili hot sauce. Or die, I guess. I guess. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Let's just eat the hot sauce. Yeah, screw it. Can't be that bad, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, with Alexis, why, why aren't you tied up? I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just as confused as you guys are. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Just, right. just try the sauce. Whatever. All first, right. first question. Then I don't trust any of this. No. What elements of this film are most compelling? What elements lent themselves most to the original series? Hmm. Uh, it's hard to say. I guess the most compelling thing has always been the traps with this series. Mm -hmm. Even then, with this film, it's like the, it's like kind of the back burner thing. It's something you just kind of, it's in the background. They happen a couple times. They're kind of, they're gross, but... There's what, three of them, though? Yeah. Four? Also, uh, how it's always, there's always some type of detective or cop story within all of these. Every Saw movie has some kind of cop detective story. Mm -hmm. This one gives you the most time you've ever had with a cop. Which is annoying, because that's the worst part about the Saw movies. Yeah. Because you're like, I just want to see some people die. Because mm -hmm. it's a dumb horror movie. It's B. It's B. List schlock. Yeah, I don't it comes know. out every ha Halloween. Like that's the fun of it. It's just something to always look forward to because you know it's happening. It's mm -hmm. like paranormal films, kind of work. You don't care about the actual characters. No. But as far as like how this lends itself to the originals, uh, like we said, that there's the detective stuff, there's the traps, and there's the terrible directing. They made sure to keep that in there. Yeah, I think this kind of emphasizes the worst part about the Saw sequels, is that it leads away from a simple. You know, a couple people in a room, there's some traps about, and goes to this extremely convoluted, twist and turn filled story that doesn't really make any sense. No. But they try to justify it at the end with a flashy montage full of twists. Like, it was this guy the whole time, and this Whoa. guy was this, and this guy was over here. They play the music, which arguably I like the song. Oh, yeah, it's a classic it's got original obviously. Saw theme. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Yeah. But it's just. Every movie, it's the same thing. Yeah, and this somehow did it the worst. It really did. And I that's, think, it's depressing. I think it lost a lot because it didn't, none of the, like, the trap or the, the game scenes had multiple people in them. And having seen the True. older Saw movies, they were all groups of people, and I think there's a huge element lost when there's only one person at a time. Yeah, that I guess, is, yeah. Pretty much all of the other traps do involve more than one person. Mm -hmm. There's... The original where they're in the bathroom. Yeah. But there are interspliced little clips of single people in traps. Oh, of course, yeah. But those don't take up nearly as much time. No. The second one had a ton of them. The second one had a ton of them. Yeah, I they always were... think about that lady in, that gets in the pit of needles. Yeah, that's gross. Ugh. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Third one has the guy running around the warehouse. Mm hmm and then I could not tell you what happens in the rest of the movies. They kind of like, all blank out to me. They just mushed together. Yeah. In one big orgy of blood and <laughs> pig guts. Yeah, and, and wooden acting. Yeah. Yeah. Bad transitions. Terrible transitions. Like this one. What did you guys think about the plot of this movie? It had potential on paper, but it was so poorly executed and it... 
the fact that they wanted to make this like the central thing about the film it's the plot this is almost like seven where it's a you know mystery detective film they're seeing all these gross bodies and stuff like that and you got chris rock who's you know the charismatic dude i mean granted i like chris rock i like chris he's rock, a great too. comedian so when he's just doing comedian things in this film it's good he has a couple lines that made me laugh he, he can act he can I, he doesn't well here hmm. most of the time but you can tell he has potential Yes. Because I've seen his abilities. Mm -hmm. He has a movie uh, called Top 5. It's another movie that like he kind of like pushed forward. He's solid in that. Like He's actually, he shows some range mm. in that. Whereas this, no one can show range in this film. It's poor direction and poor writing. Yeah, we'll get into that with the worst. Yeah. But man, I have something to say about this directing. Yeah, the film. directing is real bad. Real bad. But back to the, the plot. Mm -hmm, the plot plot. Because... I feel like every Saw movie kind of has the same plot. It's, mm. here's a series of murders, it's the Jigsaw guy, or a copycat. Here's some generic police. Only mm. this time it happens to be Chris Rock. And it's the central... <laughs> 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 and it's the central theme. And that's the central theme. Like, he's... yeah. Whatever your main character is, there's gonna be some kind of twist involving him and how he is as a person or an individual. That relates to what's happening. And they try to shoe in some dumb theory about morals. Yeah. Plus this isn't that bad. It's really not. I mean, I'm, I'm having a good time here. Yeah, yeah that, whoever that was, kind of an idiot. That's fine. Yeah. What were you guys' favorite things about this movie? Um, Chris Rock, mm -hmm. like I said, he's Kind of my favorite and least favorite aspect, depending on the scene. Samuel Jackson. Oh, yes. The two scenes that he was in, they mm -hmm. were great. They were great, yeah. Anytime he's just cursing and just being <laughs> Samuel Jackson, it's yeah. the best. He really just does his own thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you uh, notice all the Pulp Fiction references? You pointed them out to me. There were so at first. many. Yeah. So the, the one room, it was like a basement in the police thing. Mm -hmm. It was called Vincent and Jules or Jules and Vincent or something. Yeah. I don't know if that was the name of the door or the room or what it was. Mm. But is that um, Chris Rock's name is Ezekiel. Yeah, that's on the nose. Yeah, and then he's got, you know, Samuel Jackson basically doing the Pulp Fiction thing. Yeah. I just thought that was a fun little bit. It is, yeah. Um, those, yeah, those, those guys were definitely my favorite in the movie. Mm-hmm. I mean, the traps, yeah, they weren't, like, top-tier saw traps, but... No, but... That's definitely the reason you go to a saw movie. Yeah, you usually go to a saw to see the traps, whereas, uh, with this one, uh, there's so little, few and far between, and it would make sense and it would be okay if this film accomplished what it wanted to, Right. but we can't talk about that until getting into spoilers no. and least favorite as well. But there's, if this movie worked, how they probably, how Chris Rock envisioned this, because this is kind of like his little mini passion project, mm -hmm. he just wanted to get this type of film made right. with, you know, within Saul. This could have been good. I see why he was like passionate about this, but it just didn't work. Yeah. So what did you guys think about the traps in this movie? Um, they were gross. Yeah, they were gross. Yeah. They were, they weren't really too stand out though. No, none of them were. Like. If you compare them to some of the higher tier saw traps from mm -hmm. the older movies, yeah, it's pretty low. Even the movie we're gonna watch for the cooldown, Jigsaw, check that out after this or whenever we post it. That had better traps, more memorable traps. Mm -hmm. I said I like the glass cannon. Yeah, that was probably the only one I'll say. Ah, that's it's, at least kind of neat. It just seems low budget enough. Mm -hmm. Cause I I don't like the super elaborate need to be made in a warehouse kind of traps. True. I just like the idea of some, you know, demented engineer being like, oh, I'll just push some bottles and do a little, you know, fan and go, phew. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, though, because like a lot I of the... make something like that if I really wanted to. Exactly. That's what made the horror aspect work in the older films. Before they went complete camp. Yeah. Was that everything done, it was like, you could see someone taking the time to make this. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, the later the films get, and it's just like, wait. They, they get so silly. They get lasers now. And it's just... <laughs> yeah, Jigsaw. <laughs> Again, Jigsaw. But <laughs> uh, just... Yeah, they're, they're, this one, just not very memorable, but they were gross. If you're wanting to, like, squirm a little bit... Yeah, they were pretty gross. Yeah, yeah. So I had no favorite things about this movie because I thought it sucked. I thought it was garbage. Okay, well, 
I guess speaking on that then, what's the, what's the next question? What are your least favorite things about this film? Wow, how cohesive. <laughs> Who could have planned that? We're so professional here. <laughs> uh, least favorite? The rest Where do of I the begin? Movie? Yes. Let me try to go into stuff without spoilers, so that way mm. you can get some of this before, you know, if you want to see this movie without spoilers, but also don't watch this movie. It's not worth your time. Try not. Wait, wait for it to come on DVD. Yeah, wait till it streams. Yes. It'll be so Why does it say DVD? Who watches DVDs? <laughs> wait till it comes out on Betamax. <laughs> yeah. Who's buying a DVD of this movie? <laughs> but without spoilers yet, all the dialogue and the directing is so awful. Yeah. It's, uh, it's so disappointing because I just see, I really feel like I see what Chris Rock was wanting to do. Mm -hmm. I like the little elements of I'll say this like like elements of like police brutality and like corrupt cops in a way that isn't that could be done correctly and not like an episode of Law and Order. It, it's... What are you talking about? You're a good cop. Don't make this all about my father. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the level of dialogue we're we're dealing with here. Mm -hmm. It's not good. No, and the way they just I wish we could show clips because there's certain scenes where like they're. Just like talk, I remember the two of them are talking, him and the rookie, and they're like going down the hallway, and Chris Rock's doing his like stand-up spiel, and I, I think in my head, there's so many better ways you could make this look. Like think of like something like Training Day when they're talking and like doing like natural dialogue to make it feel like you're in the moment. Yeah, nothing here is natural. Like they have to. At one point, she pulls him into the men's room just to make some bad joke mm -hmm. about a woman in the men's room. It's so stupid. And. The, the certain movies do this all the time, and I really don't like it. It's just constant expletives mm -hmm. and cursing. Just for the sake of it. Yeah. Just because they have a rated R movie. So we can just say... They just Every other word they drop is, you know, a curse word. Yeah. And we saw nobody yesterday. And this does the same thing. Really? It's, it, it meant, meant to make the characters look badass because they're cursing, but it doesn't. No, even when comedies do it, I find it lazy, mm -hmm. and that's it makes more sense because like the f word is funny. We're it's not a, saying it because YouTube, right? <laughs> it's akin to the Sofa Kings in Downtown Sanford. That's that's how badass it makes these people look. <laughs> that's a reference. No one's gonna get. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I think that's all I want to talk about without now getting into spoilers. So yeah, spoiler gonna... alert. Skip to this time if you don't want to get spoiled anything. You're like really want to see this. You know. Fresh eyes. Die hard, soft hand. Yeah. Jump to this point. Yeah. All right, so what do you, what's what's really bugging you about every, all of this? Okay. I have some things. So obviously Chris Rock had good intentions of throwing in some political commentary. Yeah. And when it comes to police brutality and corruption, mm -hmm. classic Batman themes, you know? Yeah. But it has no business being in a Saw movie. Yes. And it has no business being in a Saw movie made by the same people who make all these other Saw movies. Right. I think this could work if you get a fresh like director who's hungry, who really wants to make like a great film. Mm. Give him this IP. Give him Chris Rock with you know his like ideas. This could be something if I to me, it works on paper. Having on paper, all sure. the gruesome stuff, but having a really compelling story to drive the narrative. Mm -hmm. Like it, it that works, but this doesn't. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm getting at. Maybe the, yeah. the gruesome aspects are fine. I think it's the way that Saw presents itself with mm -hmm. the you know, high, high speed editing, those crazy yeah. cuts that they always do, the high energy music. Mm -hmm. It doesn't belong there. It doesn't. You no. can just make it an original serial killer story mm -hmm. with these elements in it. And honestly, why did they just get Chris Rock to direct it? I know, he's a fine director. Yeah. Yeah. He's done those films. Like, I don't know. Has he directed a movie? He has. Okay. I, I think it's probably gonna... just going to be top five. We're going to look, look <laughs> foolish over here. Yeah. See, my opinion on this was I kind of found, like, all of the scenes where they were in, you know, I guess, the precinct, and they were kind of having conversations with each other, it was insufferable. I mean, the, the drama was just so over the top and mm -hmm. it was so unbelievable that these people would be acting in this kind of way towards one another i i didn't believe it like mm -hmm. at all and i thought it was incredibly uncompelling mm -hmm. and it just 
it didn't seem real at all. It didn't seem feasible. Yeah, because yeah, like even though I think the directing is like the main vic victim, the main villain of this film, mm. the uh, the co -per the person helping that out is the screenplay. Yeah, because I, I think personally the screenplay is worse. I think you you give this screenplay to the hands of competent director. I think just... David Fincher could do something <laughs> with this garbage screenplay. Still, I don't know. I really don't know. He he would change the screenplay. That's what he would do. That's the thing. He, I'm gonna I'm gonna put edits in this. And yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna change it better. It up. Yeah. But. That was my first comment. Was the writing in this movie was atrocious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was really bad. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't even delivered. I just, that's why I blame the directing. Cause I think it was delivered terribly too. But they definitely go hand in hand. Yeah, for sure. They're buddies. They're they're so close on the just what's worse pure garbage scale for me. Yeah. You know I don't like. I might have, you know, the script right here and the directing right here, but they're <laughs> they're basically interchangeable. Yeah. It's it's so bad. Mm -hmm. Cuz this film really wanted to be like something compelling and interesting like 7, mm -hmm. but have the gruesome stuff that fans like from a saw film. And it couldn't it didn't do either. No. And the inclusion of Samuel Jackson. He, I don't know why he was really in this movie. He just got a check. They're like, he got, we. He got a paycheck. He came in in his sweatpants, and they're like, <laughs> all right, you know, just do what you do. Hold a gun, swear. Hold a gun, you know, say mother effer a few times. Yeah. It'll be great. He goes, you guys have got 20 minutes. This better be the <laughs> take. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, granted, he probably delivers the best lines. Because he absolutely does. They just gave him Samuel Jackson lines. He does it effortlessly, so. Yeah. And you for sure saw the twist coming. Yeah. A mile away. If you've seen any Saw film and you think back to what caused any twist in that, yeah. it's so obvious. It's super obvious. Yeah. I didn't think it was at first. I'm like, that's too obvious. They're going to try something different. As Look, as soon as they kill a character off, off screen, you know it's them. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. we're, we're spoiling it, so yeah. We're spoiling it at this point. It's the stupid rookie that nobody cares about. Yeah. Just your big eyebrows. Oh, what? He's got, he's got large eyebrows. What? It was, okay. It was, just dis it was just distracting to me. I don't know why. It's okay. just the way he looks. He can't help it. But they could have cleaned him up a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. I think he looks fine. He had big eyebrows. All right. I don't know. <laughs> just what I was thinking. I was bored this whole movie. I was paying attention to the stuff that didn't matter. Yeah, I, I made sure to get a little big straight because I knew from the reviews beforehand that it wasn't going to be great. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually look at any reviews, mm -hmm. but I figured it would be trash. I just go based off my YouTube, guys. Well, it didn't look as good theme-wise as the previous Saw movies have looked. Even though I had like probably triple, quadruple. Exactly. Well, well, I mean that's why the early movies have that crazy editing. Yeah. Is to cover up the low budget, especially the first one. The oh first one goodness. for sure. All those crazy, it's nauseating, crazy 360 camera movements. Yeah. Just like, blah, blah, blah. I wish you could show the clip of Chris Rock doing a little hissy oh, fit in his car. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks stupid in this movie because it, looks, so cause it looks like an amateur made it yeah because i mean an amateur did make it and it's fine when it's a low budget film because it adds to the campiness and the b type the charm, film but it's not you know? it's not trying to take itself that seriously usually. right it's there to be schlock when it's trying to be serious and you don't have a serious writer or serious director it's garbage it's just not even fun yeah <sighs> we're very upset about this movie as yeah. you can tell. The only thing I want to mention further is the Jigsaw voice. Oh, Detective Banks, I'm here to help reform the Metro Police. Oh, the <laughs> Jigsaw voice. I hope I we can get a clip of that. I don't want to glance over that, but it's so dumb. Because mm -hmm. one of the best things of the original Saw movies was Tobin Bell. Yeah. Because he's got a cool voice and he's, voice. he's got that neat old man presence about him. Mm -hmm. And in this one, it's just, I want to play a game. This is, <laughs> you've lived your life. <laughs> As an ab like, stop. Just stop. No one's taking you seriously. Mm -hmm. Knock it off. It doesn't even sound like a man voice. The whole time I was thinking, oh, it's probably the, the, uh, what's her face? Yeah. The woman. The woman. The yeah. only woman in the movie. The, yeah, the yeah. chief of police. It sounded like a woman it's doing a man's Hispanic voice. Hispanic actress here. Yeah. There she is. There he is. We've got to eat the whole sauce. Is that, is that part of the rules? Do we have to eat the whole sauce? He's never very clear about these things. I know. Isn't? You will finish it or perish. That's what he said. Scoop for a reason, you know? Look at this. You know what to do. Aqua. 
What were your overall thoughts about this film? So disappointing. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Couldn't be more disappointed at what this could have been and just ended up not being, which is... I don't even know what I mean. This is not Seven. This is not a Saw film. This is not a good film. Don't waste your money. We saw this in IMAX. What a waste of money. Yeah, we really didn't need to see it in IMAX. $20 down the drain. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. Don't watch it. As far as where it would rank amongst other Saw movies, I'd have to watch them to know for sure, but it's definitely towards the bottom. It's not... It's not getting over the likes of, you know, the low-budget horror movie that changed all horror movies for the time it came out. Uh -uh. Or the crazy escalated sequels that it did. Or even the insane cop procedurals of the last few ones. Because it's just a combination of everything and doesn't do any of them very well. Uh -uh. I put this... It's right down there with Saw 3D. Oh, yeah. I'd have to watch them all again to see what's, like, definitively the worst, but... Mm -hmm. About there, it's down there for sure. So, Robbie, what did you think of Spiral? What would you rate this? I think I'm giving Spiral one Marty out of five. Good stuff. Yeah. What about you though? What would you rate this? Uh, I am in agreement with you here. I am also going to give this one Pulp Fiction reference out of five. Ezekiel twenty five seventeen. Better movie. Just watch that. Way better. So, Robbie, what did you think of the the PG fire sauce? It honestly wasn't that bad. Obviously, like really always, wasn't. the last one kind of killed me because, you know... Oh, we did a lot. Whoever the killer is wants me to... Yeah. It, all, it hurt. He wants us to go big on the final the final thoughts. Yeah, you know? or she. We don't know yet. The person. Yeah. Just anonymous individual. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was good. It, it was. Had, it was very... It was kind of sweet. Very vinegary. Mm -hmm. um, but solid stuff if you're just doing a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'll add it to my collection. And as always, link will be down in the description below so mm -hmm. you can buy it for yourself. Of course. You know, it really wasn't that hot. It really I would have expected worse. Yeah, no, this really wasn't much, like a much of a challenge at all. Yeah. You yeah. know what? Just, just, just cut your arms off or something. It was you! I knew it. Well, you, you can go first. These twists. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what movies you want us to watch next. Let us know what hot sauces you think we should try. Exactly. Next week, we don't know what we're going to watch yet, so like, leave a suggestion. Let us know what you we think we should watch. I think there's some movies coming out, some summer films. This one's coming out. Yeah, of course. We'll probably watch that. Uh, make sure to watch last week's videos for hot takes we did. What did we do? We did our favorite films yeah, in a did, music category. We did our favorite, our favorite musical films. Yep. Uh, we didn't do a cool down for that one because it was a special video. Exactly. But go ahead and check that out. And make sure you check out our Instagram because we put polls on that sometimes and it helps decide what we're going to watch. Yeah, that's how we decided with a cool down this week. So social medias are going to be in the description as always. And, you know, this, this hacks off sucks. You, get, you must have got this at the dollar store or something. Well, yeah, you, you, could, you go ahead. <sighs> Screw it. Uh, 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 Alright, I'm gonna go get some help. Probably pop through this bag like a fucking I can use it's just rope. I can cut through this pretty easily. Um bye, I'm gonna cut through this rope now. <laughs>